got Harry at Diva getting psyched. Every team here to witness it to just show them how much better we are. Come in. Oh, is he gonna do a pump? Yes! Oh my <laughs> god! Yes! Look at it! Get started getting a bit weird. Who's got the keys to the car? Have you? Shit. Could be noodle love, eh? Day one, it was like you don't know who you're going to be spending time with, who you're going to be crammed in a van with for the next 10 days. Fucking hell. Wow. Hey, Warnie. Yeah, Reed. How are you, mate? Good. Nervous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty excited, eh? Excited? Waves are cooking today. Is it all happening? Everyone's down the back. Right, eh? Day one was definitely tentative. Everyone was a little bit on their feet and a bit wary about what's going on. Yeah, yeah. A bit nervous. Yeah, no, pretty nervous. Fresh, ready, <laughs> ready to tackle the day. Alleyways are notorious for nefarious activity, so it's not surprising they were all so nervous. Especially because up until this point, for the most part, 16 of Australia's best surfers had no idea what they'd signed up for. Welcome to the first ever Stab High Way, presented by Monster Energy. Surfing's a pretty selfish pursuit, where uh, it's pretty individualistic. But that's kind of going to end right now. We're going to split into teams, and every team's going to get given one of these booklets. The booklets contain 30 challenges that each team would need to complete, as well as all the rules and necessary information they would need to know in order to win this competition. The team captains are standing right here. We've got Macy, Pasha, Jaleesa, and Holly as team captains. The girls are gonna go through one by one and pick whoever they want on their team. Three surfers each. All right, Jaleesa's first pick. We do. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the team, my boy. Go Hazzy boy. Uh, I'll go Chipper. And I'll go Dion. Jiggy. <laughs> Big Dakota. So yeah. Benny. There you go, Ben. <laughs> um, I'll go Mac. Let's go. Um, Jeannie. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go with Reef. <laughs> Kobe. Dan, Shelly. <laughs> All right. We have our teams. I'm so hungry for power. <laughs> Holly Warren picked Harry Bryant, Reef Hazelwood and Dakota Walters. Which team's going to be the best? Probably, I reckon our team's pretty good. I don't mean to be biased, but I reckon our team is pretty strong. Everyone else is just scared, so yeah, we, we've got it in bag. Macy Callahan chose Kobe Perkovitz, Chipper Wilson and Benny Howard. Obviously our team's going to win and I hope we win. It's hard to say because all the teams are so diverse. All the other teams are really good. I think the surfers have been spread out really good amongst all the teams. Patch of Light chose Dion Aegis, Sheldon Simkus and Mackenzie Bowden. So we're kind of trying to tick off challenges as a team, especially male and female, something I've never done before. Kind of just ready to throw yourself in the deep end and get a little crazy. Jaleesa Vincent chose Sean Manners, Wade Goodall and Noah Dean. We got a pretty solid team, hey. Once I had my team too, I was like, all right, this is going to be a big piss up. <laughs> and I'm just going to have to just be in survival mode. <laughs> now, one big thing I've left off that's going to be crucial is these bandanas are going to be, need to be worn the entire time. If any challenge is completed without a bandana, without your team's bandana on, then it won't count. With the teams picked and everyone ready to light up and leave, we decided to take a nominated member of each team and have a monster skull competition to see who would have the first pick of the vans. Grab a can. <laughs> Save me jumper. Are you guys ready? No. Yeah. 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 Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting the 
this milky grey kind of money looking thing. Who's driving? Not me. I don't have my license. Karuzi and Jai Glinderman are just rocking up now in a surf stitch van and every team gets a long boog and a boog. So can we get everyone from one team to grab a soft top and a boog? Yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> Laters. <laughs> as well as a couple of soft tops per van that were donated by Surf Stitch, the surfers were allowed to bring a maximum of three boards each. Get out. <laughs> we gave each surfer $1,500 cash to spend as they please, but other than that, the rest was up to them. After the briefing, the teams were required to meet at D-Bar Beach to complete the first challenge, Tractionless. Play with Ty. Yeah. We'll just deal with D-Bar first, I reckon, and then, like, if we survive that, we should be sweet. Oi, don't break our car. <laughs> All right, everyone start their engines. He's all good? Yeah, yeah all good. Right. Here. here you are. There's a booklet. On your way, lads. I'm getting that camera out of my face, mate. I'm just trying to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> Our teams are allowed to complete challenges anywhere within New South Wales, Australia's most densely populated state with a coastline that stretches for 2,101 kilometres, or 1,305 miles. Water temperatures vary drastically along this coast and you can get away with boardies or trunks in the north, while the south requires full suits or even booties for some. D-Bar, which is short for Jarambar, is the northernmost beach in New South Wales. It sits just 400 metres or 0.23 miles south of the world-famous Snapper Rocks, but unlike Snapper, it's angled towards the south, which means it consistently catches more swell and luckily happened to have punchy little peaks on the first day of Stab Highway presented by Monster Energy. Whoa, that ramp, bang. Shoves. That's fucking off a day, eh? There's definitely a few right ramps. Fuck, it's not even crowded either. All four teams began reviewing the booklet and wasted no time starting challenges on the way to D-Bar. I don't know, man. I can't, I can't even read. read. Why not? Didn't go to school. <laughs> Number one, that's fully ridden wave with no wax or traction of any kind. One surf at D bar, no wax or grip. Best kneel or tube. Oh, that's cool. Best surfboard to boog transfer. Best switch foot wave. Roundhouse cut back to an air. One footed air. Longest wearing of a steamer. Shit, Kando. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can, really, I can hit pies, diet. I can start now. First challenge, pie only diet. About to hit the first pie. For those unaware, in Australia, the word pie generally refers to our most celebrated meal. Containing almost zero nutritional value, a pie is cheap, sloppy meat baked in cheap pastry that's usually enjoyed with some form of cheap, sugary sauce on top. I love it. Pies are readily available. They sit for days pre-cooked at lukewarm temperatures in every server, a.k.a. gas station, in the country. They're also available at about a million other places. Is there a pie oh, shop oh, around here? Oh, 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 Mark. What? Is there a pie shop around here? Yeah, you want one? Just gonna get a pie and start eating pies instantly for the longest uh, pie diet. So yeah. we are here at D-Bar and we're doing the first challenge, which is surf on a brand new board, no wax, no traction. This guy's going out, he's got two fins in his board and it's got no wax on it. What an idiot. <laughs> The only challenge that is required to be completed with all four teams together is the first challenge, tractionless. No traction, no leg grip? She's gonna ride that, no pad, no wax. For this challenge, all four teams are required to meet up at D-Bar immediately after the initial briefing and paddle out regardless of the conditions. So we can't actually do the trax tractionless challenge, which is the only challenge we're supposed to do here today. Um, I got a fresh board and I put a deck pad on. Um, 11.45 on Wednesday night. What'd you get? Just classic chicken. Yeah. Chicken and veg. I'll just go hard for a bit. I think maybe I could like switch to party pies sometimes. Has, has, has. Don't put your wedding in the right way, you're going new. I don't know, man. I don't know. Best naked surf performance. We've got Harry at Diva. Every team here to witness it, to just show them how much better we are. Just a big flex at the start, so it's gonna be awesome. Has it been? Uh, it's pretty red hot, you might have won that one. That's kind of like, don't even worry about the challenge. Yeah, it's just yeah, like, just like Harry was going to get that anyway, he wants to get it out. I can hear you, mate. Good on him. Oh, you safe. Safe. On there? safe. Nah. <laughs> oh, dude, shh, 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 don't tell him about that. Oh. <laughs> Harry! Oh, 
no, it's happened. <laughs> they've had a shot. They've had a shot. <laughs> he's gone out in the noon. He's got his fucking bandana. We need to get him in so it doesn't count unless he has it on. <laughs> Fuck, he's not going to come in. Harry just got way too amped. I mean, he's nude, so he, he was kind of bolting and uh, forgot the yellow bandana. He caught one wave, nude, and now he's going to come in, get get the bandana on somewhere. Uh, maybe a little bit creative with that. And then he's going to go back out and catch a couple more waves. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna do a pun? Oh, <laughs> yes, oh. you're cute! Yes! Oh, back here. Oh. Harry Bryant has he. He's unstoppable, goes hard, and just keeps going hard. Has pretty up. He's just like very up human. He's just in a good mood all the time. Harry's second to none. He's definitely like no other surfer. He'll do whatever it takes and he lives for fun. Um, we're at the Harry's Hotel. The, the universe is on my side at the moment. He just comes up with stuff you just never heard of. It's all original, the stuff that he comes up with. It's absolutely insane. Like when we opened the book, we were just like, that's Harry Bryant, that's Harry Bryant. He's almost the kind of guy that would be doing this stuff anyway, you know? It pretty much on any given day. I think it's part of what makes him tick. I grew up with him a little bit on the sunny coast and um, he's for sure one of the people that I looked up to. Just one of those guys where he's just so genuine and so honest. You just love him. Not one single person can hate him. He's just one of the most lovable people ever. You just look at him and just go, Harry, you're the best. <laughs> All right, so the time is 12 o'clock on Wednesday the 9th of June, and this is Chiggy putting on his wetsuit. 4-3. Four, 4-3, three. Four, three, baby. We're going to keep it on as long as we can. Fuck, oh, that's rattling. This is going to go down real well. It's a nice little fucking, nice little accent, isn't it? The one-legged air, are you shitting me? I tried a couple just then and like creased myself. Noah at D-Bar, first day. Somehow I got this one really crazy section. Slob, one foot off, tweaked it out. It's pretty high. Slimy. Fuck, that's actually really hard, hey. First surf, that was like the challenge. Paddling out, I couldn't even paddle. And then, I don't know, something clicked like when I stood up and I was like, whoa, this board's kind of grippy. As long as I don't move my feet, I can surf. It's crazy. This board kind of went good. <laughs> Got a little air. Got a couple of little pits, it's fun. While a member from each team ticked off the tractionless challenge, other team members took advantage of the clean, fun-sized wedges and got started on some of the other challenges. All right, I'm gonna try um, doing air on a board over 6'6", six, six. this board's 7'6". How's he been? <laughs> it got a bit weird in the end, it's only got crowded. <laughs> I was just brown eyeing everyone. It's pretty frothy to surf D-Bar in the nude, it's been on the bucket list for a while. They're brown eyed like three times, <laughs> my ass. Getting just so ring hold. <laughs> he was fucking ripping. Like, he was ripping so hard. Nude surfing, tick off the list. First challenge of the event for myself. Bring it in. <laughs> Don't get too close, mate. Let's see if he has a no traction board for us. I think they're trying to get a board of someone. Really? Yeah. It might be. They're trying to make some calls. 
Maybe someone's going to board somewhere. We don't have somewhere. a clean board. Holly, Holly just came over and she was like, would you just want to try my board? Like, who are you going to call Mick? It was just going to be a big kerfuffle. I was like, I was ready to cry. Holly's letting me go on this one. Thank you so much. She let me have a go and I got a little turn and a little little buzz, we'll say. We'll say it was a barrel. Stoked to get that one done. Each of the Stab Highway Challenges will be scored by a panel of judges, consisting of legendary free surfer, artist and musician Ozzy Wright, the unparalleled and visionary filmmaker Kyle Neville, and me, a pathetic nobody who attempts to hide his uselessness with a cheap suit, Danny Johnson. The judges will award points to each team as they rank our surfers first to fourth in each challenge. I actually didn't think that challenge would be that hard, but I've never done it. I barely have traction half the time. Yeah, I've honestly got some pretty questionable wax jobs going on. Watching the clips, it looked really hard. Like, they were struggling. It looked so hard. It was, it was interesting to see. I was like, whoa. Cody got a long wave. Uh, Holly kind of did a roundhouse cutty, which was sick. Wade didn't air, that was pretty, pretty mental. He's kind of the only one that pulled off something half decent, I feel like, without any traction. And to actually fly along, hit a little ramp and, and stick it without, without traction was, was, was a pretty good effort. Maybe next time you could surf a bod with soap on the deck. After Wade's tractionless punt, the first challenge sees Jaleesa's team take an early lead. But with a decent ways of D-bar, there's still plenty more challenges to tick off the list. What else can we do now? Air on a 6.6, nah. Most chop hops, not the right way for it. Monster Air could try that. So really, I'm just going to try to airs. <laughs> I got one tiny one, eh? That's one point. One point for the lads. Oh, the board kind of looks sick. The board's <laughs> mental, I reckon. Boom. <laughs> That's giving me the ego boost to stay in my wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to show up, Sean Manners. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep in this. Oh, I'm so cold. I'm so like, I think I'm imprinted into the seat. I'm so comfy. Are oh, you? Yeah? yeah. It's been an absolute roller coaster of emotions today. I feel like a rag doll. What'd you get? Curry lentil. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, I'm back on. Wicked. Six hours in the suit, so much dry. Another 69 hours to go. Six hours in, second meal. Frozen pies. Look at this meal. Mm. Hold, and we've just arrived at our first destination. I think this is actually going to be comfy. Hi <sighs> guys. Surfing's needed something like this for a while. Just to prove that we're not all kind of jocks that spend all our time in a gym or wearing Gucci suits. There's actually a bit of personality behind us. I think it always has had so many massive personalities. I think it always will. They definitely shine through on a trip like this. <laughs> Come on. Oh, 
coming into it, kind of knew it was going to be a bloodbath of somewhat. I actually had no idea what was going to happen. We were kind of uninformed, which was nice because you just roll in and then it just blows you out of the water. It feels good, like being in a team environment and actually just ticking shit off. It's like therapeutic or something. It's cool working in a team, knowing that you get to try and beat other teams, especially with these challenges. We all get to go at it our own way. It kind of forces you to try different stuff that you wouldn't normally do. Just kind of injecting a bit of personality into the sport of surfing. I think it's needed. Still in the suit, still winning, still number one. Try to fuck with me. I'm out of no, the because I took a bath. Yeah. Not out of it, but because I'm going to bag and I'm gonna put it back on. All right. That's fucking what I am, brother. Where's the drinking? It's down the chair, big guy. And it's four points straight up. Fucking four points, lads. Why well, sleep when you can get four points? Thanks, G. No worries, bro. Fuck yeah.